Hi everybody, I'm Joby Smith here in the Bronx with two teams, Columbus and Lafayette. Both came in 2-0 with plenty to prove in week three of the PSAL. Both squads had trouble getting any traction early on. Columbus quarterback Kevin Bordis coughed up the ball late in the first. Lafayette recovered and tried to mount a drive, but still no points off the turnover and all knotted up at zero heading into the second quarter. Then it was a catalyst for the Blue Steel, Omar Harris, operating out of that Wildcat formation, moving the chains, and that gave Borges room to eventually find six foot eight receiver Justin Taylor on the other end of that TD pass. The two point conversion by Harris made it eight nothing Columbus. Lafayette needed a way to get back in it with four minutes left. Isaiah Barnaby picked off Borges, giving his offense some energy. And that set up Nazir Thompson on the rollout, hitting Mark Wallace for the touchdown. Moses Costello Edwards scored the two-point conversion, and it was 8-8 at the half. In the third quarter, Lafayette confident and marching, taking their first lead of the game off the touchdown run by Edwards. That was his second, and it was 14-8. Columbus answered right back when Andrew Blackwood exploded on a long run. That had the Blue Steel offense fired up in the red zone and they converted on the score by Jose Feliz. The two point conversion made it 16-14 and both teams kept looking to ring that scoreboard up. Thompson later took it in on a quarterback keeper and Lafayette led 22-16 heading into the final quarter. The Mark Wallace on the receiving end of that gorgeous touchdown pass. Lafayette pulling away to win it 30 to 16 and felt good about coming back from behind on the road. But you know what's next? Next, bring on If it wasn't for the, my O-line, none of this would have happened. It's all on my O-line. This is my O-line trophy. Here, y'all. This here, y'all. This is my O-line trophy. This is my O-line trophy. my O-line trophy, y'all. Let's get it, y'all. Hold All the holes they created allow my fullback to run through, allow me to run through, giving me time, allowing me to get the ball off with ease. I got hit a couple of times. It's OK. Just keep composure. We fought through. We pushed through. We got the W. Let's go, man. Honestly, it don't it don't mean nothing until we go to the championship. It don't mean nothing until we go to the championship. One and zero each week. That's all we thinking about. We not thinking about the championship. We not thinking about the playoffs. We right now we done with Columbus. We thinking about Springfield. It's incredible. Like we played as a family. We played as a team. I couldn't do it without on my own line. I had my blocks number seventy. I had it from, from last year blocking for me. I'm glad to have him back uh, on my side blocking and everybody playing hard. I'm just so happy right now. We did a good job. It starts up with the defense. They won this game. Defense. From D-line, linebackers, all phases of the defense, we won this game. We bringing this W back to Brooklyn. I just don't know what to say after that. I'm just so excited. I'm so overwhelmed right now. I feel great, man. Oh, my quarterback, he's a good quarterback. Does what he have to do, scrambles. When he's out, I just try to, you know, when he throws it, I try to help him out like by receiving. I did my end of the party and he did his. We just go week by week. It's not necessarily about 3-0. and We're looking to go 1-0 and each week. And it's a stark difference from last year. We went 0-9. We lost four, four games in the last minute and a half. Our goal this year is to play five quarters, not even just four. You'll notice when we go into four-minute warning, any of the times in the fourth quarter, we're playing five quarters. And these kids, we put in dedicated work since day one, since Big Apple games since Hell Week, straight into our scrimmages with Sheep's Head Boys High and Bayside and coming out rolling this year. And these kids, they've grown big time. 